Hi, it's Steve from Brownells here, and today we're going to take a look at two venerable revolver cartridges, the 44 Magnum and the 45 Long Colt. Now, the 45 Long Colt's been with us since the late 1880s. The 44 Magnum's a more recent development. And right there, the, the reason we have the 44 is because there was no large caliber that would do the things a 44 Magnum can do. That's because of the pressure that was required. Later on, we got stronger guns and were able to use the 45 long cold up to its full potential, but for a while there was a big gap there between the 357 and anything bigger. So the 44 Magnum came into being. Still a great cartridge, but it has its limitations, mainly in the guns that it's chambered for. Um, because it operates at higher pressure, the guns tend to be heavier built, larger, or with more select steels. Um, Smith & Wesson has shrunk the 44 Magnum down to an L-frame now, a five-shot L-frame, so you can still do it. But uh, for a long time, the 45 Long Colt was hindered by gun design. Bill Ruger fixed that, and later on some others did also. Now you can load the uh, 45 Long Colt up to where it delivers energy exceeding that of most 44 Magnum loads. It's done with heavier bullets, not at the same streaking velocities, but with a heavier bullet and more sectional density. In fact, if you know who John Linebaugh is, the guy that came up with the five shot 50 caliber conversions and the 475 Linebaugh, his everyday carry gun is a Smith & Wesson 25-5 loaded up with uh, big, heavy semi-wad cutters. He's got a great article about that on his website if you care to check it out. So we have a high pressure cartridge on one side, lower pressure on the other that can be loaded up in certain guns. But let's look at the similarities between these two. If you're a hand loader, they're both straight wall cartridges, very uncomplicated to load, very easy to load. They accept a wide variety of powders until you get up to the upper scale, then you need to use the slower powders like Winchester 296, H110, stuff like that. But uh, you can load them up or down as far as you want to, basically, if you got the right gun. 44 Magnum ammo seems to be easier to find in full power configurations. If you're, if you're going to the store to buy 45 Long Colt, more likely you're gonna to tend to find cowboy ammo, you know, the low power stuff. And that's all right, because those cowboy loads are really pleasant to shoot at the range. So you don't have to go full bore all the time. But if you're into the cowboy stuff and you wanna shoot a Colt, first, second, third generation, or a copy thereof, 45 Long Colt's probably going to be your cartridge. If you want to go hunting, you've got your choice, either one. As long as you have the right gun, the 45 Long Colt loaded up will do amazing things. 44 Magnum, we already know what that does. That'll take about anything. So if you're a hand loader, there's really no bad way to go here. You can uh, load the 44 up to normal levels, or you can load the 45 Long Colt in a strong gun up to where you need it to be. Plenty of companies make dies. Brass is available for both calibers. They're both considered very current viable calibers, unlike some others that have come and gone. So if you're a hand loader, both of these cartridges are viable options. They're considered current by all the manufacturers, so brass is available. Loading dies are available. They're not super expensive like some of the exotic stuff. If you're a hand loader, either one of these will do the job. You can load it up as long as you have the right gun for the 45 Long Colt, you need that extra power. Otherwise, if you don't hand load and you want to go after bigger game, I suggest the 44 Magnum because you can go to the store and buy full power ammo pretty easily. Now, of course, all this is a personal choice and I imagine you have one of yours. So if you have a favorite between these, uh, let us know why you like one over the other. I have my personal favorite, but I'm not going to tell you what it is just now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.